Welcome back. We are here with yesterday's Golly Blessing, which we missed out. That is 14th of April's Golly Blessing. Where Supreme Father is saying that may you have all the blessings in your life with the balance of your spiritual endeavor and all the facilities which you have. Now, either we are dependent upon the facilities, that means facilities could be electricity, could be a laptop, could be a phone, mobile phone, could be the internet too. So those facilities should not come between you and the tapasya. That means they should not come in between you and God, as simple as that. So let's get into the details over here, what Father has to say in his own words. Father says, may you have a right to blessings and make progress with a balance of your spiritual endeavor and the facilities, both the things combined, a balance. So God says, instead of making the facilities your support, use the facilities on the basis of your spiritual endeavor. Use the facilities on the basis of your spiritual endeavor. Do not make any of the facilities the basis of your progress. That means if I don't have the mobile phone, if I don't have the nice songs, I cannot meditate. If I don't have the nice meditation uh, background music, I cannot meditate. If I don't have somebody speaking out the meditation or guiding me, I cannot meditate. If I don't have the television, if I don't have the fan or the AC, I cannot meditate. See, there's so many things which we depend upon or those things are actually taking over our mind and even taking over or hijacking the physical body. So if there's no fan, there's no AC, that means I'm going to feel hot and now for me to meditate is very dif difficult. God says when your mind is cool, your body is cool too. You have to experience that by the way. It's not just something which can be said, it has to be experienced. Otherwise, as well as the basis fluctuation, fluctuating your zeal and enthusiasm will also fluctuate. So if the basis of your tapasya or meditation or progress fluctuates, suddenly the electricity goes away, suddenly the internet is off, suddenly let's say your laptop is not working, your phone is not functioning or your memory is full and then suddenly you're like, oh now how do I do and you spend so much of time in taking care of all those things instead of meditating, instead of leaving all those things and just focusing and talking to the creator. Hard to hard. Yes. Then God says, by making the facilities your support, the father is removed from in between. So it's the facility and self and God is God. And this is why there is fluctuation. Make spiritual endeavor as well as using the facilities. That means, but don't be dependent upon them so much. You are using facilities, you listen to songs, listen to guided meditation, listening to lectures. And uh, suppose you're not able to listen to them someday, it's not supposed to be like you're feeling bad or sad or low. Because your connection is with the Father, not with those things around, not with the people around, not with the lectures around. So God says, and you will experience the Father's blessing in every task you do. And your zeal and enthusiasm will not decrease then. So it's all about making something as your walking stick and something not as your walking stick. Walking without a stick. So don't make facilities your walking stick. As simple as that. That's what God wants us to do. To learn more about this, do visit a Brahma Kumari Center and understand how you can do meditation without sound, without facilities and go into silence. It's the basic, most principled form of meditation which you will learn. Om Shanti this.